Alright, near Georgia Talk, City Pack Three. Know what it is, man. Six o'clock show. We in here. We in here. So look. All right, man. So today episode, we're going to be talking about Kendrick Lamar dropping a second album. And when can we ex when 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 can we expect it? You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is this probably will be the deluxe. I don't think it's going to be a second album. Maybe a deluxe. And I'm I'm predicting maybe about a good eight more songs on to the deluxe on to the deluxe on to the deluxe i'm kind of like i don't know i look high today i don't look high i don't even get high that's crazy i ain't even tired either i just sometimes i just get mellow i don't know why but anyway um <clears throat> yeah so this is what we're going to do we're going to get into that while well, i get into that you know i gotta get my legendary spell this is start to talk like the content please consider subscribing if you're new here let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch. I do have content absolutely free, but if you want to leave a donation, Cash App is in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 13,000. Finally made it to 13,000. And um, yeah, King of the North, let me know what kingdom you're from. So let's get to it, man. No more talking. Let's go. So let's go. This comes from Fantastic Hip Hop. You know what it is. Let's get it. Now, despite how Drake has tried to tear down Kendrick Lamar's current album release by attempting to make this moment about him, and regardless of the fact that GNX is an album that reaches such a high bar both in success and quality that for most rappers and musicians, this type of record would be enough for them to be able to rest for the foreseeable future. With both the response that is coming from this record and with all of the drama that people like Drake and even Lil Wayne have been creating because of it, this seems to be only ramping up Kendrick Lamar's plans for the immediate future even more because after leaving behind subtle hints through his entire GNX album and all through the branding and rollout of the project itself, we have now gotten even more confirmation about what is next for Kendrick and when these next moments may be going down to create another rift in music culture like nobody else can at the moment. Now before we go any further into this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And so now when it comes to the current state of Kendrick Lamar's now, I want to say this about GNX. The rollout is the album. I know a lot of people saying, well, he didn't he didn't do a rollout. His rollout is the day of. That's a, that's why Kendrick Lamar is so amazing. Because he does his rollouts the day of the album. <laughs> so he'll put a song out that ain't even on the album. That's a part of a rollout. Make you go listen to it. Then he'll drop an album. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least for this album, he did that. But he literally didn't have a rollout, and the rollout was this album. Now, granted, he did have Euphoria, uh, Not Like Us, 616, and, uh, and uh, Meet the Grams. But uh, I don't know if those are, are, are even going to make an album cut. I don't know if they're going to be on his next or the deluxe version. I don't know. Me personally, he should have put those on the deluxe version. He should put them on. He should put those on the deluxe version those songs um because those songs need to be they need to be a part of something but i guess he was just showing people that he didn't need to need need to use those songs to be successful either way kendrick lamar is a successful rapper anyway his albums usually do well doesn't matter they do well and this is just another one in his another notch under his belt another album that's people are calling this people are calling this a masterpiece they call it a classic you know what i'm saying but let's see what's going on. Entire career, really. While everyone who's checked in reality is praising GNX, and the album has a ton of replay value, which is gonna give it an extremely long run on the charts, both in terms of total album sales and when it comes to having major hits. Now what we have found out further and further is that as this album has made a greater impact, and despite being released so late, in this historic year in hip hop, that it's breaking massive records, which even have gone as far as doing such things like already outstreaming the entirety of J. Cole's Mike Delete later project in just a week. Is that for Kendrick Lamar? GNX is nowhere near the endpoint of what he is doing, and that it's really the start of an entire new era from him. And just like a lot of the songs and subject matter on this album talks about, cancer is. You just. 
It's really the start and reincarnation of an entire new era for him. Because where when this album first came out, some people who have been near Kendrick were talking about the fact that he may have more on the way, now sources that are directly connected to Kendrick, PG Lang, and Top Dog Entertainment have really and definitively confirmed that he is not done. As on live recently, none other than the R- yeah, I mean, as you can see, the two cars in this shot basically saying that there's another one coming. I gave y'all my theory. I said that I believe that um the first one was for Crip and the next one was for Bloods. Now, I know that's not said, but that's what I believe. I believe that the first album was for Crips, the second album was for Bloods, and we'll see what happens. Keep it going. Pretty super credible source in the West Coast's very own DJ Head was speaking to none other than not just any member of TDE, but the guy who Kendrick Lamar looked up to in terms of his rapping ability when they were coming up and someone who has continued to be close to him all the way to the point where he was a focal point on GNX's Hard Part 6 track in none other than Absol. And as these two chatted on live and went to the topic of where Kendrick Lamar is at and where he is going from here, as Absol was praising his good friend Kendrick for everything that he is doing right now, DJ had finished off their conversation saying some important words which read as i will say this the homie ain't done this is what kendrick is on you can take that however you want and i mean as absol jumped right on board with what head i'm telling y'all now man y'all gonna be in for a long long ride for the next three four years i think kendrick is gonna go crazy when i tell you he's going to drop he's gonna drop a lot of music and for all y'all that say he don't drop no music, I think he's going to drop so much music and it's going to be so good that, and I hate to say this, I hate to say this, but <clears throat> a lot of people ain't going to want to listen to nobody no more. Everybody's just going to want to listen to Kendrick. I know that sounds kind of crazy, <laughs> but I'm being serious. I mean, I was listening to a lot of rap albums and then once that GNX came out, i just been listening to GNX. I mean... I'm sorry, that's just what it is. And I got my top uh my top ten uh, albums of the year coming up. So let me try to uh check that out. That's gonna be this week. I'm gonna do it. So let's keep it going. Saying here, more than any other West Coast rappers or people who maybe ended up in a few studio sessions with Kendrick Lamar men, this is without a doubt the biggest confirmation we have heard about the fact that Kendrick is going to be dropping something even bigger than this, but the information doesn't stop here. Because another thing that's important to note is that aside from just another album, which Kendrick has now hinted at and others have seemingly confirmed which we are going to get into even bigger news about that later. Some other rappers who have been featured on GNX have done interviews after the album dropped and the comments that stuck out most from all of these was most notably from an interview with Lefty, who's featured on the absolute banger of TV Off, and he said he heard Kendrick Lamar has a deluxe album. And now with these comments, which are saying that Kendrick Lamar is not even done with the GNX era itself. This is interesting and it could be promising, but again, it's important to note that we know these rappers have been in the studio in some capacity and created alongside Kendrick, but really, with how Kendrick Lamar works, and how a lot of the local rappers who are featured on these albums have been talking, despite the fact that they are on this record and a lot of them had great verses, I don't think these guys know what Kendrick Lamar's plan is, but I think what we can assume with from here is that he probably heard more music from Kendrick that didn't end up being on the actual GNX album. And based on the quality of what he heard and the conversations that were going on in the studio, he seemingly knows that there is some other music dropping. But with this idea of a deluxe, with all the info out there, there is just not enough to confirm this yet, unless the second car in the GNX trailer video is meant to indicate to the fact that there is just another half to GNX and that the next album Kendrick Lamar is going to be releasing outside of this era is just a whole entire other thing. But really, this seems to be unlikely. I definitely, I definitely think that the second car is basically saying a part two. Now, I, if I'm Kendrick, I would definitely drop a GNX part two. And we got to start paying attention more to certain things because in a Not Like Us video, the, G and the GNX car was in the video. Now, obviously, we didn't know he was going to name the album GNX, but still in all. So there's probably some hidden meanings or hidden messages in a lot of these um, these these things that we just overlook. And we're going to come back and look at it like, oh, man, I didn't know he did that. Let's keep it going.
entirely because when we listen to GNX start to finish, despite lines where Kendrick is saying something like double back like a deluxe, which even with that just feels way too on the head to be revealing that an actual deluxe album is coming. Beyond any comments or speculation, just from the fact alone that The Heart Part 6 is on this record, which in the history of these grand Kendrick Lamar albums, The Heart series has always dropped right before a major album release, and whenever it comes out, that means that we are not going to hear Kendrick Lamar on a song until the next album it's setting up releases. Overall, based on the five past installments of this series and how they have set up the albums that have dropped after them, more songs just adding on to this album, which already seems to be complete and perfect for what it is, just doesn't seem likely. It really would be a contradiction to everything Kendrick has done in the past. But now, while we're probably not going to see a GNX Deluxe, back to this second album from Kendrick Lamar. The biggest piece of news that we have found out about this record, beyond comments from Kendrick's own camp, has come from somebody who has major media sources and connections within the industry in none other than one of the faces in rap media with Joe Budden. And now on one of the most recent episodes of his podcast, Button revealed a lot of insider information that has been filling in the gaps to stuff we just didn't know in this entire moment in time in hip hop, which included on someone like Drake said, revealing that the reason why him and Metro Boomin started beefing in the first place was because Drake said something super disrespectful about his mother. And when it came to how GNX was received by other rappers, but it also broke the news that Lil Wayne tried to call up Kendrick after being mentioned on the intro track of the album Whacked Out Murals, and when Kendrick didn't answer, Wayne went into the studio to record something. And now, on top of major info- Yeah, that's Cap, though. At least that's what his uh, Lil Wayne manager said, that Wayne did not go in the studio and record anything. And like I said in my other video, Wayne should not go in the studio and record anything. No, don't do it, Wayne. That boy will destroy your legacy. Don't do it. And I and and daylight and all them was saying that he don't. Kendrick and nobody's gonna respond to Little Wayne out of respect. That's what he was saying. Reveals like this: what Joe and other members of the pod who know people all around the hip hop and music industry and who have been within circles near Kendrick have been saying is that they heard some snippets and small moments of music that Kendrick Lamar is working on that were not on GNX, and they alluded to the fact that if we thought GNX is amazing, that this upcoming next album from Kendrick is going to blow our minds, because from the ground up on this record, where GNX is an album that is leaning more than Kendrick Lamar ever has into his West Coast sound, what Kendrick Lamar is working on with this next record does not sound like it is from a particular region or place, and really it sounds like nothing we have ever heard at all, as it's instead embodying whatever he needs to in order to make what maybe could even become his best project ever if it lives up to anywhere near how hyped up it is. And so now with all of this information, while in this era we are at, we can't take what any one person says and trust it as fact. This whole- I kind of believe that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I believe that that first snippet on YouTube, I think that that is a it, it is is leading to something spectacular. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. That first that snippet on YouTube, the GNX snippet, the one that's not on the album. Yeah, that's yeah. That's that's something different. Just the way he harmonizes with the violins, and then he comes in with the. Uh, Cause it reminds me of that Eminem song, uh, Dr. Dre, uh, with the, uh, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Reminds me of that a little bit. Reincarnated with, uh, dun, just one sound, dun, dun, dun. Then it comes in, the beat comes in, body for body. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to hear that because I already know. But I think this is going to be something. And then I already know people going to say, oh, man, this is way better than GNX. Oh, man. It's like, uh, yeah, it could be way better. But you still got to give Kendrick his credit. The GNX is there. Trust and believe. That's up there. Lines with not just what seems likely, but when we look at the snippet of the song that Kendrick Lamar previewed in the GNX rollout trailer, this multi-layered track from Kendrick sounds like just what they have heard and described is all about, as where everything on GNX clearly is built with the West Coast influence in mind, from the beats to the features, to even the concepts and stories being told on some of the narratively deeper tracks. This unnamed song Kendrick Lamar played sounds like nothing else that we saw on the actual GNX album, 
it really sounds like something way greater and more musically expansive than one region embodies. And so with all of this information, on some level and as much as we can for a rapper as mysterious as Kendrick Lamar, we do know a good deal about what this next album for him is going to be like and how it's going to feel and sound to an extent. And so with everything we know, from all of the signals and hints that Kendrick Lamar left himself, from the news about what industry insiders have heard, and the mere fact that the hard part 6 is on GNX and that we all know, whenever an installment of the hard series releases, there is an album right after after to follow it. Drums. Overall, based on everything we know and where the industry is headed, as it's now the end of the year and this time is known for the music industry just to sit back and take off for a few weeks, with a release that even despite how free and uncontrolled Kendrick Lamar works, has so much at stake for the entire music business and hip hop world, I don't think we are going to see Kendrick Lamar drop another album this soon because aside from anything else, what we know for a fact is that GNX also is an album that has power of its own and is going to dominate the charts in this time where no other music can even come close to creating the type of impact it has right now. But if Kendrick is not going to release in December, this then leaves us in January. And in the month leading up to the Super Bowl and also the Grammys, this is where things really get interesting. Because we know Kendrick Lamar is going to have the biggest moment of his career in terms of the viewership on him at this halftime show. And this would really be the perfect moment to just capture the most hype artists really can ever get. And based on records that have been inside the... I'll be honest with y'all. I think that Kendrick is going to drop his next single or project on... Uh, Martin Luther King Day. Um, believe that. I believe he's gonna do that. That was what February fifteenth or something like that. I think that's his birthday or something like that. That's how I think he's gonna drop the next project. Um, some people saying he's gonna drop it on fifteenth of December or something like that. I don't think so. Maybe he might drop a, s a single or song, but I could see. It. I could see that. I definitely could see uh, February after the Super Bowl, actually. We also know that Kendrick Lamar is planning a stadium tour for this summer, and that is running dates that will overlap around the same time that Coachella 2025 will, which is in April. So now knowing what is going on for Kendrick in 2025, and knowing that when it comes to touring, artists like to wait a few months to build hype, prepare, and let fans just know and understand their new work when they are playing it live. I think Kendrick is due for this groundbreaking and ambitious album to drop right around the winter and really based on where everything is headed. And also knowing how due to the fact that he has beaten Drake in every way possible, Kendrick has been handed the keys by the industry as the leader of rap as a business in addition to the people letting him lead things forward as an art form. I think we are going to see Kendrick come out around the end of January and early February, and he is going to release a major single that is going to be maybe even a bigger hit or just as big as Not Like Us. And then right after the Super Bowl, with the hype of his 2024, the halftime show, and then a new hit single, we will then get this groundbreaking album. And we probably won't even have an official rollout because the Super Bowl is going to be a big enough moment and the excitement of all of that will really be enough to propel Kendrick Lamar to have the biggest album release that hip hop has seen in at least the last decade, but maybe even longer than that. But overall, with everything we know about this second and way more ambitious and large scale album from Kendrick Lamar, what's clear is that when this record drops, we thought the release and reaction to GNX was next level. This album is going to be one of the biggest moments we ever witness as not just hip hop, but music fans. And so now with all that said, let me know. What do you think about everything going around? Yeah, so you already know Fantastic Hip Hop will be uh, putting his link in the description. Yeah, man. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting that his album is going to drop probably sometime in February after the Super Bowl. Um, or it's going to be something like some people saying he might come out with a single. I don't know. I guess it depends on this album actually did pretty well. Uh, but I think it's the most sold uh, album first week sales, but I don't really go off of first week sales no more because I think that that's something that people was doing. A lot of people still do that. And it's like, why? And I think that that for me, first week, first week sales doesn't make sense. Be, uh, for first week sales for music because music is something that you're going to constantly listen to. So first week sales doesn't mean anything to me because if you got 200 and, uh, uh, a million a million in one week or was it, okay, cool. That means people that anticipated to see to hear it. But I think they got that from first week movie sales. And the thing, the difference between movies, people don't go all week, go back to the movies to see the movie. If, if they, you know, if they ain't like it, they don't go back to they don't go back to it just to listen. Now music is a little bit different. 
if they don't like something at first, they might listen to it and they might like it. It's just too much to go to a movie and then sit in the movie theater and watch the movie again to see, well, did I like it or I didn't like it? You know what I'm saying? Music is like, it's right in your face. It, it goes fast. So that's what I'm thinking that. But for as far as the first week sales, it just doesn't really make a difference. Now, is this album a masterpiece? Is it a classic? I'm actually going to do a whole separate, <coughs> excuse me, whole separate episode talking about what is a classic, what is a masterpiece, what is all these things, because, <coughs> excuse me, I think a lot of people, they use the word classic, they use the word masterpiece, and they use the word, uh, I don't know, cult classic and all these different things in such a way where, you know, people say it's a classic, people say it's not a classic. You got people who will say it's not a classic, but then they won't give you a good argument of why it's not. Then you got people who will say it's not a classic because it just came out. It's like, just because something just came out doesn't mean it. But I'm going to do a whole episode talking about class, classic albums. I'm going to compare certain classic albums from this this generation versus the older generation. I'm going to pick a couple of albums. I'm going to pick, and I'm going to explain why I think certain classic albums are, you know, because some people say classic is classic. I kind of agree with that. That I kind of agree with that, too, but. There is some times where you might say something's a classic, but it's not better than this classic or something like that. But I'm going to break it down in another episode. All right. Y'all have yourself a good night. ADM show's coming up. I'll see y'all. Peace. Bye.